there was some fucking yet another dust, not dust up, but sort of like, oh, they're me, blah, 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 phobic. But no, I mean, they're just fucking Christians telling you what's up. Like, you don't have to be that spiritual to realize that being a total wanker and a fig is just kind of a race to the bottom. You know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> Police brutality, we gone. Student brutalized for yelling at homophobic protesters, apparently. That is so nice. Oh my god! That's inappropriate. <laughs> no, that's not okay. Oh, it's more than okay, bitch. <laughs> Ape mode. <laughs> Beast mode. <laughs> That's not right at all. At all. Wow, he's getting into it. No, no, he didn't. He just like playfully because he's like call him a bitch and like. That's what I don't like about the Woms is that they always lie. Like, he clearly, like, look, watch this. The last second, few seconds. You literally just hit him in the head. Hi, Lara. Take me, bitch. Take me. You literally just hit him in the head. Yeah, they literally. Hang on. That's not right at all. all. Just like lightly, playfully tapped him on the head after he called him the bitch. Because he's like getting off on it. He's getting off on the attention and he's getting, you know. I, I That's why American women have a problem, okay? In my opinion, that's why. Or that, that or sorry, that's like one of the... No, clear boy He was wearing a mask and cops ripped it off his face and he was not arresting resisting arrest. All of that is just fake and lies probably. And all or and or like ancillary details that don't fucking matter. Police refused to put their masks on and his nobody cares. Uh then they punched him, put a knee to his neck, and body slammed him in the ground. We were at a protest where people were calling females whores. <laughs> And calling LGBTQ plus members slurs. Wow, dude, these Christians get pretty, they get pretty freaky with it. Um, the man was asking the cops a question. Out of nowhere, they slammed him in the ground. I am angry and disgusted that this abuse of power and arsonist is faculty members' lack of intervention. <sighs> Crocodile tears. Let's see the other angle. Is the same angle? Stop it! What the Oh, I think it's the same angle. Maybe. No, that's not okay. Hey, Green Knight, where's that other video you're talking about? Where is that? Can you put it in the, uh... He's resisting arrest, what clearly. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Yeah, he did. He gyrated. What the fuck? Yo, move out the way because this is hurting me. Like, no. What the fuck? You just hit my fucking back in here, sir. It's alright, Chip. Yo. What the fuck, bro? That's not even right. Yes, it is. <laughs> You really want women and minorities running your country when they don't even understand. Pepper spray that dude. I just love how look look at this. This is like the J lefty mind. The the clear boy. 
He was wearing a mask, like, okay, focusing on the mask aspect, and he was not resisting arrest. Clearly, the video shows otherwise. Um, again, another mask mention. They punched him, like, at, again, after he was resisting arrest. They playfully tapped him on the head in the previous video after he was saying a bunch of, like, freaky-ass shit, like, take me, bitch, take me. <laughs> He's like, again, clearly, like, quasi turned on by some sort of endorphin rush, at least. Um, who cares? Okay, oh my god, it's okay, because this notion that the Christians are violent toward them because they're saying LGBT slurs, but really, what are they saying? You're sinners. You know what I mean? Don't be a homo no mo or something like that. But whatever. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Forgot my fucking mall soft. Here's a statement that uh, Ursinus, total pandering shills that they are, released about this incident, or incidents like it, some shit like that, right? Collegeville residents who study live in Lake at the Ursinus College campus were the target of hate-filled verbal assaults. That's not real. <laughs> hate-filled automatic verbal assault weapons of of thought crime. Uh, by a group of people from the Philadelphia, from Philadelphia on Friday, April 9th, 2021. The group led by Aiden Rustfeld. Yo, shout out to Aiden. Maybe I should have this guy on a Durst stream at one point. Uh, the leader of leader at Key of David Christian Center hurled insults at bystanders about women, LGBTQ, Catholics, Muslims, and others. Who cares? It's free speech. Uh, Rustfeld was also associated with a group called Matthew 24 Ministries. And again, like... This is me granting very charitably, and I shouldn't, the notion that he's launching a bunch of unforgivable invective. It was probably funny at the very least, you know. <laughs> it's probably stuff that we would all go like, yo, based? Like, like just highlighting the fact that if you're extremely hedonistic and like centering that stuff and you're super gay, it's like likely because of some sort of unresolved demons from your past. So if you want if you if you want that, uh, if, if if these people want that to be like a Christian expression, and that's that's sort of the metaphor they're using, or, or whatever you want to think of it as. I'm more of a secular person, so it's not really my purview to talk about that at this point. But that's that's how they interpret it. Like a lot of these people that seem fallen, like Jesse Lee Peterson calls it a fallen state, right? That's sort of the thing. Um, it's not, it's not insults. Okay, these people are just liars. <laughs> it's just like, hey, you're gonna go to hell, because you're all fags, right? <laughs> anyway, um, the group assembled on the main street sidewalk near 6th Avenue traffic light adjacent to the main campus. They lined up facing the campus and commenced their harassment, yelling, displaying offensive signs, using bullhorns, generally attempting to entice students to engage them. The group goes to colleges and universities around the area using the same tactics. Um, although this is offensive, annoying, and frustrating, it is considered to be protected speech. That is, you know, for now. They're chipping away at it. And the fact that the, you know, at this point, I mean, these types of people with this ideology can, again, like we just saw, take guns and just take over, at least in Portland, they can take over a street. You know, and just file people out of their cars if they want. Just practically abduct people. If, I mean, like, straight up abduct people if they want, and they could shut these guys down, like, well, why? Because, well, they think of this as violence now, of course. None of them are operating in good faith. None of, none of them, you know, like the old, old school, like, oh, words are violence. I don't think any single fucking one of these people actually believes that axiom. But the colleges are, are pandering, like, in this letter, of this, this, like, pandering letter of apology. Green Knight says, I was secular until I saw literal demons. There's some supernatural shit to them. But dude, that's... I mean, hey, that's real, man. I, that's... That's something that I've seen, too. Like, going all the way back to the Battle of Berkeley or some of the incidents at uh, Boston, I mean, that was probably one of the first times that I saw actual... what The closest thing that I consider to be, like, living, breathing demons, okay? And these, like, disgusting twerking like <laughs> Jesus was a gay woman sign holding people like these are just and yeah and people who use words like verbal assault okay people who twist language around to suit their ends very disingenuously 
These are fucking just the closest thing to demons that you could think of. Collegeville police officers responded to a call to assist Urson and his campus safely in keeping the group separated from students. Since the group was confined to the sidewalk, they're not allowed... Uh, this is mostly about keeping students far enough away from the group to prevent altercations. There were 60 to 100 people present spread out in small groups, according to Ursinus. One arrest was made. Yeah, that quivering, queefing, like, kinkster. Like, he's clearly into some bondage or something. And they're like, oh my god, he literally, like, punched him in the head. And it was just like a playful, you know, not really even... Um, as reported, a male student instructed by an officer to step away from the area failed to do so. When directly ordered by the police officer to step aside, the student refused to do so. This led to his arrest, which he resisted. Wow, hey, they were actually kind of base about that. They were actually, rather than lying, like what, um, what was her name? Claire Burke? Berkey? Uh, yeah. To, to, call, to uh, Ursinus's credit, they actually somewhat accurately represented that aspect of the story, so... After the young man was in the police car, it is reported that he kicked the officer in the chest. He was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and aggravated assault of a police officer, which, let's see, will he walk? I wonder. He looks like kind of a well-connected, kind of someone of desert origin, you know. Collegeville Borough Council is grateful to our police officers and the security officers who were on the scene. They worked hard to keep the group separated. In accordance with Collegeville Police Department policy, the incident is under investigation. Concerns was expressed about the fact that our officers were unmasked, because the people making these concerns are gay. Both officers have been fully vaccinated, and because they were in a situation that required clear communication with two groups, one of which was using bullhorns, they needed to be heard clearly. Kind of based. I mean, that, that should go for the rest of society. Like, we all need to healthfully communicate with each other clearly, and not be afraid of stupid, fake bullshit that's overhyped and for control and for Pfizer and Moderna to make more money. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. We are currently working... Yeah, so they're just going to keep appeasing to this mob and this letter is going to be deemed as... Because, because, like, they accurately pointed out that that crazy dude was, like, kicking cops and whatnot. They're going to be like, oh, blah, please brutality. Because all progressives ever do is lie 100% of the time without exception. 